welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going on a very serious very important mission it's officially november which means it's it's christmas and i am not going to let the season fly by without any sort of festivities without the holiday cheer because i miss the mark on halloween okay and i take christmas very seriously so today we have to go to barnes and get some holiday books i have almost no Christmas books in my collection and what better way to get into the holiday spirit. I do love Christmas movies, but getting sucked into a good Christmas book, it's just what I need right now. So we are heading out to Barnes and Noble. We're going to check out what they got going on, see if they even have like maybe a little holiday section out already. Also today I pulled out my Glossier Bomb.com. This is the cookie butter one. And let me tell you, it literally smells like cookie butter like i want to eat it but it also this is like the only thing plus lip liner on my lips and it's so pretty so at least i smell like i have holiday spirit also today i'm wearing my new love in other words hoodie this is from enlightened soul co i'll have everything linked down below for you guys she actually sent this to me and this is one of the things that i featured in my bookish gift guide or like book lovers gift ideas video and if you haven't watched that video already go check it out i'll link that below down as well it is filled with so many amazing goodies but anyways what better place to wear this bad boy out to for the first time than barnes and noble we're just radiating comfy girl vibes and this is my entire holiday mood Okay. All right, let's get the show on the road. Hi guys, popping in really quick to give you a word from today's sponsor, Book of the Month. I don't even have to say it by now. You guys know I am a ride or die stan for Book of the Month. It is something that I always recommend. And with the holidays coming up, this is the perfect gift for all of the book lovers in your life. I actually included it in both my gift guides. I personally always look forward to these little blue boxes in my mailbox at the beginning of each month. Over the past few months that I have been subscribed, I have found so many new favorite authors and tried out different series and books that I wouldn't normally read otherwise. I'm truly obsessed, but if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, Book of the Month is a monthly subscription box. Each month you can choose from different selections. It's usually five to seven different books that you can choose from as your Book of the Month. And you can always add two additional books as add-ons, and I always take advantage of that. The two books that I got for the month of November is by Claire McIntosh. This is The Last Party and then I got White Horse by Erica T. Worth. Both these books are thrillers. You guys know I love a good thriller. The description of this one was giving me a little bit of like Daisy Darker mixed with The Last House Guest. At midnight, one of them is dead. By morning, all of them are suspects. So this sounds so interesting so with this month's selections there are five to choose from including these two so the other three are we are the light by matthew quick the wilder woman by ruth emmy lang and someday maybe so lots of fun stories to check out this month and you can get your first box for 9.99 with the coupon code chill and like always i will have everything linked down below for you guys I know a ton of you have signed up in the past few months and it makes me so happy that we can like discuss each month's selections because a lot of us have the same taste in books so we kind of pick the same selections each month and i love talking to you guys about these books so check it out or gift it to a friend or family member this holiday season but without further ado Let's get back into the video. Look who it is. Guys, look at this little mug. I'm sobbing. I need it. Guys, it's still all Halloween in here. This looks like it could be a Christmassy thriller vibe, maybe. I don't know. But it's a little rough. There are spicy book top levels. There's levels to this shit. These are the real spicy ones. That one looks spicy. Yeah, it's serving spice. If you want just a little, just a little kick. Some of these hands with us. We found a Christmas book. for 
Christmas. <laughs> it was an absolute flop in there. Actually, I got four books, so not necessarily a flop, but it was a little disappointing. It is still Halloween-y vibes in there. So it's mostly like they're like pushing like a lot of thrillers and horror novels. So in due time. But I did find some gems, some that were on my list that I wanted to find going in and some that weren't. So I'm excited to check those out. Okay, we're grabbing some lunch. I actually just switched out my sweatshirt because I don't want to spill on the white, you know what I mean? So now I'm feeling very festive in my green vibes. home so i just got a few books from barnes and noble they really did not have many christmas books out yet so i will have to check back soon but i ordered a handful from amazon i'll give you guys a haul as soon as they arrive the books are all here so i ended up finding four in store two i had already purchased from target earlier on like in october and then i ordered a few from amazon and i know this seems like a very aggressive amount of books but i actually have a very exciting plan coming up that i just i can't wait i've already kind of started working on it so can't wait to share that with you over on instagram i've already started getting questions about christmas book recommendations and don't you worry you guys i am on it so i have two books from maggie knox all i want for christmas and the holiday swap this one is about two country music singers that end up going on like a singing competition sort of show. Similar to like The Voice or American Idol, something like that. And they end up having like a really good stage presence together. So their PR team ends up putting them together in a fake relationship. The Holiday Swap is your classic twin sisters trading places. One of the quotes on the back describes it as Gilmore Girls meets The Parent Trap meets Cake Wars. I have a feeling I'm going to fall in love with this one. Actually, as I'm doing this haul, I'm realizing I forgot to pick up Holidays by Christina Lauren. That one was on my list. I totally forgot about it. Anyways, this one is Holiday Romance by Katherine Walt. This one is a romantic comedy. It says she's meant to be catching flights, not catching feelings. Love that. This one is like the classic snowstorm, brings a halt to their flight, and they're stuck together. And this one is actually friends to lovers. So they were going on this flight together as friends. And the main character is like, you know what? Like, forget the flight. I will get you home. Like, we're going to figure this out. And of course, on their journey, I think we can all imagine how that goes. The Tourist Attraction by Sarah Morgan Haller. Morgan Taller. What I love most about the holiday books are just how like hallmark they are. They're always so predictable. It's always kind of like the same repeated storylines, but they're ones that I love so much. And this one is about like a local grumpy man who ends up falling for a tourist. He had a strict no tourist policy until she broke all of his rules. This one I think is the biggest book that i have it's about it's a little bit over 400 pages i think that this one might also be the same okay yeah this one is a little bit over 400 pages as well this is a merry little meet cute by julie murphy and sierra simone and this was actually the first christmas book that i purchased just because i saw the cover and i was like yeah Okay, and then this book is actually the smallest. This one's about 250 pages. This is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. So a very quick, short read. This one is literally about a woman walking by a window display, a man asking her, hey, what do you think about this window display? And she's like, it's, it's a tragedy in Tencel, actually. And so he ends up hiring her to redo it. And I'm assuming while spending all of that time together, dressing up this window they fall for each other not really sure i think that's probably why it's so short also can i just add that these books all have the cutest covers ever this is jenna bayless uh meet me under the mistletoe a city bookshop owner heads to the english countryside for a holiday reunion only to face her childhood enemy enemies to lover baby childhood enemies oh my gosh i love 
childhood friends to lovers, but childhood enemies to lovers? Too much. I, I love it. Next up, I have One Day in December by Josie Silver, and she actually wrote, I believe, oh yeah, Two Lives of Lydia Bird. I read this earlier in the year, and it was good. It was just slow, so I am excited to see how this turns out. This one I am actually so excited about. <laughs> A Princess for Christmas by Jenny Holiday. A modern holiday fairy tale about tough New Yorker from the other side of the tracks who falls for a princess from the other side of the world. There was a movie that Vanessa Hudgens was in recently, like I think it's like the, the princess swap or something like that, where she is a, a princess around Christmas time. I don't even remember what it's about, but it was so cute and I love those kind of styles of movies, so I feel like I'm going to love this book. One Last Gift by Emma, not Emma Stone, Emily Stone. Sometimes the best gifts in life are the ones you don't expect. This one sounds like the saddest one out of the bunch. This one is more about two siblings who lost their parents at a really young age and they were super duper close when the main character loses her sibling as well. But before her brother passed away, he had set up a scavenger hunt for his sister to go along. It's a Christmas scavenger hunt and he did it every year. So even though he's no longer with her, he still wants the tradition to be alive at least. And this one just, it just, it sounds very, very sad. I don't know if I'm ready for this one. <laughs> Next, I have Once Upon a December by Amy E. Rayhart, Richard. I'm not exactly sure how to describe this one, honestly. This one sounds like another little meat cute. And that's really all I know about it. And lastly, finally to the end, A Season for Second Chances by Jenny Bayless. Do I have two from her? Jenny? Okay, wait, it actually seems like our girl Jenny has several Christmas themed books as well as The 12 Dates of Christmas. Do I need to get that one? Anyways, this one says, it's a charmingly quirky seaside town that offers a recently separated restaurateur, a fresh start, and possibly a new lease on love. You guys, I am so excited about these holiday reads. I have already started diving in. Like I said, I have a really fun idea that I am doing with all of these books, so stay tuned because I will be giving you a review on every single one of these. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, be sure to check out Book of the Month in the link in the description box, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!